वेलकम टू एडी डिक्टेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एट फर्स्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो रेडी स्टार्ट लैंड काउंसिल फॉर द एपेलेंट आर गुड दैट द इम्प्यूंड ऑर्डर्स आर लाइबल टू बी सेट असाइड बिकॉज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट फोरम्स डिड नॉट हैव द जुरिस्डिक्शन to entertain the complaints filed by the respondents and the state and national commissions committed grave error by brushing aside the appellant's objections to the maintainability of the complaints land council emphasized that the seeds act is a special legislation enacted for regulating the quality of seeds and if the respondents had any grievance about the quality of the seeds then the only remedy available to them was to either file an application under section 10 of the seeds act or to approach the concerned seed inspectors for taking action under section 19 read with section 21 of that act they further argued that even if the complaints filed by the respondents under the consumer act are held to be maintainable the finding recorded by the district forums that the seeds sold or supplied by the appellant were defective is liable to be set aside because the procedure prescribed under section 13 subsection 1 within bracket capital c of the consumer act was not followed land council relied upon section 8 of the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 and argued that in view of the arbitration clause contained in the agreements entered between the appellant and the growers the latter could have applied for arbitration and the consumer forums should have non suited them in view of section 8 of the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 an ancillary argument made by the land council is that the growers of seeds cannot be treated as consumer within the meaning of section 2 within bracket small d of the act land council for the respondents supported the impugned orders and argued that the district forums did not commit any illegality by entertaining the complaints filed under the consumer act because the seeds act and the rules framed there under do not contain any provision for compensating a farmer whose crop is lost or who does not get the expected yield if the seeds sold or supplied by the appellant are defective land council submitted that the remedy available under the consumer act is in addition to other remedies available to a consumer and the complaints filed by the respondents under that act cannot be held as barred merely because they could also approach the seed inspector for taking action under section 19 read with section 21 of the seeds act land council further argued that the growers of seeds are covered by the definition of consumer because they had agreed to undertake cultivation of seeds on behalf of the appellant for earning livelihood on the issue of non compliance of section 13 sub section 1 within bracket capital c of the consumer act land council submitted that the district forums had rightly relied upon the reports of the court commissioners and other evidence for recording findings that the seeds sold or supplied by the appellant were defective land council emphasized that the respondents had used the entire quantity of seeds purchased by them for sowing and they had not retained samples 
by anticipating loss of crop or less yield stop